Hello guys, what I have for you today is the seamless block swapper. So, or yeah, you will see what I mean. So I have glass here and I have um, diamond blocks behind there, something you would want to display I guess. And there you go, now the diamond blocks are right in front of here instead of behind the glass. And if pressed once again, it will be back behind the glass. So it's basically just a block swapper, but if you have a non-solid block here to display, um, to have at front, um, it will still work and be all seamless, where it wouldn't be with your regular block swapper. Um, so yeah, it works pretty nice. Um, I made it together with MDP, or actually, in the end, um, MDP did the entire wiring, but the way that everything is powered is still on the same way as I did it, but he's just really good at compacting stuff, so he basically compacted some things I showed him, I guess. But um, yeah, he said I could make a video of it, as yeah, I still did a part of it. Um, but the final design is his, so let's take a look at the wiring. So, as you can see right here, it is really small, it's only a one wide control circuit and, and yeah, apart from that it's 4x5, so um, in total it is uh, 40 blocks um, when you don't expand it, if you just have one row, and as you can see it's just um, expandable. So, yeah, it is some really easy redstone basically in the end. Um, so I first saw this at um, Misa's plot, and um, yeah, he uh, made one which was a bit bigger, and I said it was big for fun, but it wasn't really that big. So he kind of challenged me to make a smaller one, so I tried, and eventually I got a smaller one, and then um, by just a few blocks, and then MDP came around and helped me to or basically made it um, into this size which is absolutely tiny um, so yeah it's really simple really straightforward um, so yeah I feel like it's kind of pointless doing a tutorial for it but still um, I will do a tutorial right now so let's say this is the block you want to display um, you would just go back a few blocks like this and then place two pistons so there are two blocks in between here uh, and then you want to place one piston right here facing up and place your glass or transparent block I guess right there then you want to put four ticks on this and have it just right there then have a torch right there so it's extended by default then place one dust there, another dust right here, two ticks delay right there, a piston going up right there, then some sand, and then uh, your two pulses for the piston at the front, and then this one will like trigger the this piston when it's right here, out of a bullet position. So now if we just place a button on there, as you can see it works great. So you could um, maybe use this for a crafting table or actually I have pretty much no clue what the hell you could use this for. But um, yeah, it's a block swapper and it's pretty small and it's pretty damn clean. So um, I will put um, TO and MDP's um, uh, channel in the description because they have a channel together. And yeah, that's it. See you all later. Bye.